In the final two weeks of the legislative session, local groups will be working hard behind the scenes to push for bills they approve of and stop the ones they don't. The Utah Eagle Forum is one of them. Gail Ruzica is the group's president. She's here to discuss the top priorities. Gail, great to have you back on the show. Thanks so much for being here. Happy to be here. Let's start with Article 5, Convention of the States. The yeah. Senate passing a resolution for that, listening to that debate in the Senate floor, you know, was pretty fascinating just to kind of hear the back and forth. You stand strongly opposed to this. Explain why. Well, we are definitely opposed to and have been opposed for years. And passing in the Senate just means they sent it over the House. And so sure. now we'll be working over there to, to try to defeat it over there. We are against this because it opens up the entire Constitution for amendments, which would be a rewrite of the Constitution. Normally, when they pass something like this, it's a single issue. They passed a balanced budget amendment. It goes forward as a single issue. They also pass legislation at the same time to be a felony if the delegates went, went back and voted for anything but the balanced budget. This one is wide open. The people behind it, Convention of the States is the name of the organization. They have about 20 amendments that they're putting forth, including changing Article 5 on how they do the amendment process. Mm -hmm. So that means people on both sides, to, to the most conservative, the most liberal, and everybody in between, Republicans and Democrats, will come with their amendments. We could have 40 or 50 amendments in one convention. We've only had 17 amendments since the in the last 230 years, you know, since the Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. So this is a wide open. Let's rewrite the Constitution, and we don't want to do that. Senator Vickers, the sponsor in the Senate, says, you know, relax on that because it's not like 38 states are going to be able to come together on that many issues anyway. Your response to that? They've done it before. I mean, that's how we got. You know, they repealed the 17th Amendment by getting 38 states to come together. We got the income tax, it tax on our income by bringing 38 states together. No, it's, that's not the case. In fact, I don't think they'll have trouble bringing uh, 38 states together to pass something like the Equal Rights Amendment or marriage equality. Or they want, you know, what they want to do is change the Supreme Court. They've already said that they, they plan to have an amendment to change the Supreme Court to 50 justices, one from every state, like the European system. All right. As you mentioned, this will go off to the House. You'll continue to follow it there. We one, will. One interesting note is this brings groups like yours and others that y you guys aren't working together on the same page often, but you are on this one, like Alliance for a Better Utah That's being That's exactly one of those. right. As I said, conservative mm -hmm. to the most liberal are, are working on this against it and for it. Okay, let's move on to conversion therapy, a bill uh, to ban that practice here in the state of Utah. You oppose that. Why? Well, because this, it's, it's way too broad. The line, we, we don't oppose banning the physical uh, things about conversion therapies, things like shock therapy, anything physical that would harm or hurt a child. We absolutely oppose that. And that's, that really is the definition of conversion therapy. But they have changed the definition to include talk therapy. So it says that if, you, if parents want to take their child to a therapist and, and at the very least have the, the, the therapist talk to the child maybe who is having some doubts, wondering, Remember the word is questioning as part Q as part of, of the definition there. They would only be able to that therapist would only be able to encourage them. The therapist under this legislation will not be allowed to say anything negative, to say anything uh, about well maybe tell the child maybe this is just a phase you're going through or let's talk about it. Let's let you, you know let's talk about both sides. This is all one-sided and it's. It's the worst thing for parental rights I think I've seen. And the therapist, telling the therapist what they can talk about to a patient and say you cannot tell that patient that possibly this is, this will, is something that there, it's not really happening or let's talk about what you want, let's talk about both sides of this, nothing. You can only, you can only say if you think you are that way, you are that way. Let's talk about you being, you know, John, let's talk about you being a girl. But if a, if a young person is struggling with that, we're seeing really high suicide rates here in the state of Utah. And if they're conflicted between who they believe they are and their religious belief, a lot of people are saying that is leading to that high suicide rate in the state of Utah. No. You know, there's, there's no pr proof or documentation of that because it can be just as, as damaging and lead to suicide if you tell them that's the way you are, there's nothing you can do about it. If they want to say, well, I don't, I'm, I am John and I want to stay John, you can say, no, if you think you're, you know, you're, you're not John, if you think you're not John. That can, that can lead to suicide. Not a good thing. And, and we shouldn't tell parents where they can and cannot take their children for therapy. What, what we're doing is saying there will no longer be a licensed therapist that can in any way help the parents and their, and their child, the patient, through this time. 
Let's move on to a couple of abortion bills working through the state capital. One to uh, restrict it in the event only purpose of uh, Down syndrome. The other after 18 weeks. Uh, you support both of those bills. They do. Broadway. And the Down syndrome bill has passed already and is on the way to the governor's office. You know, I mean, so mm -hmm. for the governor. Uh, the other bill, which is, is uh, no abortions after 18 months, except for, there are exceptions. 18 weeks. I mean, 18 mm -hmm. weeks, <laughs> yeah, 18 <laughs> months would be bad. But uh, the 18 weeks, it, it, there's exceptions. And so except mm -hmm. for those exceptions, uh, we would end the practice of abortion after 18 weeks. That is well into the second trimester. At that point, the only way that they, that they deliver these little babies uh, in, in those first few months after 18, in th weeks after 18 weeks, is through uh, dismemberment. They, they dismember a live little baby who can feel pain. We've got to stop that practice and we need to stop abortions, late term abortions. Okay, we have only a few seconds left, but real quick, uh, even legislative attorneys are warning about a, a court uh, battle over this. Do you think it's worth the money to battle this in court? Absolutely. We're only talking, you know, around two million dollars. They sp they spend billions up there. They spend two million dollars like we sp like we would spend twenty dollars. So this is not a lot of money. Uh, Arkansas is passing the same bill at the same time. They're moving at the same speed we are with this. That puts us into two circuits. Arkansas in one circuit will be in the other circuit. That will take us. That should get us into the Supreme Court where they will hear this. And it's time to do this. It's time for Utah to stand up and say we will no longer support late term abortions, especially like they're doing in New York. People, people support this bill because they, they want to say no to what the kinds of things that New York is doing. We will see how this plays out. Uh, it appears poised to pass in the Senate as well and head to the governor's desk. Uh, thanks for being with us this morning. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Glenn. Still to come, a massive tax reform bill will be another big issue heading down the stretch. Our panel will break it all down next. <laughs>